Haida from the studio. So I'm currently working on a track for a library actually. And I'm using some instruments that I normally don't use, which is Triebwerk. Triebwerk. Why am I saying it like in English when it's actually German? Triebwerk. Um, then uh, I use Nexus quite a bit and Hypnotic Dance I haven't used as much and also Massive from Native Instruments, which is like such an amazing synth. It's just so complex that I usually either I like it or I don't and I just go back to Omnisphere, but I haven't actually used Omnisphere for a long time, which is kind of crazy because it's one of my, it used to be one of my favorites, but I have so many other toys. So this is what I have so far. It's like an electronic kind of edgy track. Just needed a different part in it, so that's the ba ba ba. But still keeping the element. And this is actually Nexus, which I love. Um, yeah, so those are some of my favorites at the moment. But I'm always like, I try to change things up, and um, so with using massive and actually manipulating the sounds and creating my own sounds um and hypnotic dance i just kind of use what, what whatever i i'm not making any of my own sounds i'm just using the presets and then mess around with it a little bit um but i'm getting my twitter messages while i'm like doing this and i'm like what <laughs> um too many freaking distractions i'm telling you um so yeah, this is what I have so far. And it's only actually, let me see, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only eight tracks I'm also trying to work on. Minimalism, I'm not using as much and using, you know, doing a lot with a little um, to give it more room and stuff. So this is what I got so far. I'm gonna be back later and show you more. And I'm also gonna reverse it so that you can see actually the screen that I'm looking at. Um, I had so much fun playing with it because um, I'm using actually instruments that I normally don't use, which is one of them is massive from Native Instruments. Um, another one is Hypnotic Dance by Steinberg and yeah, Triebwerk also by Steinberg. Obviously it's German because Steinberg is from Germany. Um, Cubase, the people that do Cubase. So uh, that's my main doll that I'm using. The way I'm working now is I'm mainly focusing on simplicity. I used to use a lot of melody, um, too many leads, you know, and so I'm, I'm just trying to get more simplistic and more um, impactful with what I'm using. So I'm using this um, Nexus synth, and I just love the way it sounds. That's kind of the theme for the for the entire song, the entire time through. And I put a little filter on it, so it's changing just a little bit. Um, col putting putting some coloring on it, I call it, and then. Um, that's uh, it's also massive and then I had fun with this one I just used a massive sound and I was like really tweaking it um, you know um, using MIDI control with messing with the waves and, yeah, and to give it a nice intro and then um, for the drums I actually used um, samples I took the close hi-hat right here 
and just cut it. And then I use the open hi hat and then the kick, uh, the clack. Hope you can hear it. And then the kick. And what's interesting for me, I usually, I like to use actually drum loops usually uh, because it's just easier for me, um, especially when I'm in a, in a rush. But my whole, I think I talked about it earlier, my whole concept is now quality versus quantity. So I want to spend more quality time on each track and make it sound really good and make it also more sounding more organic, meaning I'm using less loops and I create my own loops and my own um, drum. And I mean, it's just a basic dance drum is nothing it's nothing fancy at all actually about this um, and then also my my main my main thing that I'm using in this song is massive Native Instruments is freaking amazing. It's one of my favorite companies. Um, quality, superb plugins and instruments, and so easy to integrate, very user friendly, which I love. And I think that's why I always loved Omnisphere because Omnisphere is so easy to use. Um, and I mean, Massive is not easy to use at all. It is so deep and it's kind of cool because you can really like create your own sounds and, and manipulate it. and build it and stack it, it's, it's freaking fantastic. So I'm just really actually getting into this part because I've, I've used in the past, I, I've used a lot of presets in Omnisphere and I'm gonna lie about it, or Stylus, you know, um, which Spectrosonics is another company that I absolutely love and adore. They are super friendly, their products are so user friendly. And, and what, what it comes down to in music production, you wanna have really user-friendly things to work with because I don't have time to figure things out. Yeah, I mean, that's a learning curve for everything, but the easier it is for, for me to, to move around um, and to manipulate things, the easier it is for me to create versus, you know, dealing with a lot of things in between having the, the, the idea and communicating that into the, into the box, you know, so that the less the less obstructions there are, the less stepping stones there are, the easier it is. Obviously, it's like writing, right? When you write, that's just you and the pen, and it's easy to do. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what I've been up to, and definitely would say that Omnisphere and and Native Instruments have been my main. Yeah, I could say that my main and, and Universal Audio. Um, that's another one of my favorite companies. Um, that I used Apollo Twin as my MIDI interface, which is great. Um, only thing I don't like about it is that it's for PC only and they now have a new one that is actually compatible for both but so I have the one that's only for PC uh, but other than that I love it and I also love the plugins and I'm really considering getting the Steve Slate um, monthly package for using all of their plugins which is like freaking insane I just saw an ad on YouTube about that and I was like oh my god I have to have this <laughs> um, because buying plugins is super expensive I mean the universal audio plugins are insane um, the bundles are like in the thousands and I mean it's super high quality and still nothing compared to the actual hardware but I mean come on you know most of us we just um, Every little bit counts, you know, when you're making music, it, it's, it can get super duper pricey. So everybody wants to save a buck if they can, obviously. Um, so that's what I've been up to on this side of the electronic side. And then someone requested to see some of my guitars. So I'm just going to show you a few of my guitars.